Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam. I don't know why I'm so off center. Oh my goodness. I haven't filmed in so long. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, today's video is going to be a little, a little moment with another little moment. Um, we're gonna be playing with a new product that just launched like recently. I'm really, 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 really excited. Um, it was an early birthday present to myself and very excited. So you're probably like, what the fuck is it? Well, let me tell you. Uh, so I got the new giraffe palette from Shantakai, and if you know anything about me, I'm a huge giraffe lover, and about a year ago, this, uh, I don't even want to call it a zoo, this establishment in my area had a fire in one of their barns, and their giraffe died, he, you know, burned up in the fire. Uh, Waffles the giraffe was literally, like, the man. He was just the best. And all that to say that I love giraffes, so anything giraffe-themed is, like, very just like close to my heart I don't know every time like waffles was like my best friend I loved that like, oh god I loved that man he was so so good so sweet like I just anything giraffe themed I'm like gotta have it so we're gonna be playing with this today this is what she looks like on the inside I don't know if you can really even see how gorgeous it actually is but it's stunning like it, it's gorgeous and I'm is it worth $75 we're gonna see today because the pan sizes are like minuscule but hopefully it packs a punch. I'm going to try to spice it up a little bit. I'm excited. So if you want to see me play with this palette, then just keep watching. I already did my brows. So we're going to start with the Helene Cosmetics Double Base. I'm going to pop that on my lid and just blend it out with a little sponge. And then we're going to start with this dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm just going to map out our little shape today. Just map it out. We're doing a little winged out thing. And then I'm going to go into the Shantikai Giraffe Palette. It's absolutely gorgeous gorgeous and I'm gonna start with the light brown shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and start to smoke out that little brown shape that we made I'm just gonna start to smoke that out and then I'm gonna go in with the dark brown liner from NYX and I'm gonna go ahead and re-intensify that little shape just to add a little bit more definition so I'm gonna go ahead and trace that out and then I'm gonna go back in with that dark brown shadow to smoke out that liner again to add definition and then we're gonna go back through so I'm gonna go back in with that lighter brown and just continue to smoke out this little eye look that we got going on then I'm gonna go back in with that double base and I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the inside of this little winged out shape that we got going on so I'm just gonna pop that on the inside and clean it up and then I'm gonna go in with this lighter brown not the lighter brown this is like a shimmery coppery brown I'm gonna pop that on the outer and inner part of this little wing thing that we got going on to kind of start our little halo eye and then I'm gonna go in with the other brown this is more of a metallic it's gorgeous it's got this silver reflect to it and i'm gonna pop that right on top of that coppery brown we just laid down and once i do that we're gonna go in with the star of the show with a really pretty silvery white shade and i'm just gonna pop that right in the center it is absolutely stunning i could not wrap my mind around it it was gorgeous for my face we're gonna start with the nyx plump it right back primer this is one of my favorites right now i'm obsessed it's so good like, it's so good. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation, the Born to Glow. I'm just going to throw that all over my face. And then for concealer, I'm going to use the Hourglass one. I'm going to pop that underneath my eyes, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. Blend that out. This one blends out really nicely, but it ends up looking kind of cakey. Like, I don't know how I feel about this concealer. I don't know. I'm going to contour with the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I'm going to pop that on my cheeks, my forehead, my chin, and my nose. And then go ahead and just blend those areas out. Love this thing. I love it. I just do. Then I'm going to go in with this little NARS cream blush pot thing and I'm going to pop that on my cheeks and then go ahead and blend it out. And once I do that, I'm going to go in and just powder everything down with the e.l.f. Camo Foundation Powder. Again, this is a new product that I've been loving recently. I am obsessed. Really good coverage. Really, really nice. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with a Kylie bronzer and khaki as per usual. I'm just going to pop that on my cheekbones, my forehead, my chin, and also going to pop it on my nose. And then for blush, we're going to go in with the Two Infinity and Beyond duo from Pixar and Ulta. I'm going to pop that on my cheeks and on my nose as well. And then for highlight, we're going to go in with a Super Shock shadow, or not shadow, highlight from ColourPop. This is Install the Show. I'm just going to pop that on my cheekbones and my nose. And then we're going to jump back into my eyeballs. I'm going to pop that liner in my waterline 
and then I'm gonna take that darker brown shadow and just smoke it out on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go back in with that light brown from the giraffe palette and blend out that darker brown just so we have a really nice gradient happening on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go ahead, you can't see it, but I'm gonna make a little peek on my inner corner with that same brown gel liner. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Climax Mascara, just throw that all over my lashes. As you guys know, recently this has been my favorite mascara, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. To pop my lashes on, I don't know where these are from, I don't know what they are, I just found them and we had problems putting them on, but we got there in the end, it's all good. For lips, I'm gonna go in with this Loon and Aster lip liner, it's kind of like a pinky mauve brown toned lip liner, I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lip. And then on top, I'm gonna pop the Giraffe Chantecaille lipstick on top, I think this one's in Willow, it's either Willow or Frasia, I can't remember, but that is the look. That is all for this video, I hope you guys liked it, I'm so stoked with how this came out. This palette is so cute. Is it worth $75? I mean, I, uh, I, if you're not trying to break your bank, I mean, I'm sure you could get this color story in a gazillion other palettes. However, I think the formula was really, really good. I'm excited to play with it more. I'm excited to see where I can take it, what looks it'll bring me. Like, this was cute. This was fun. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm, like, really excited. I haven't had any inspiration any motivation to do makeup in so long so sitting down tonight was like just what I needed like it's not something colorful it's not something crazy but it's cute it's wearable it's fun I don't know I like it I'm I'm excited I don't know so there you go I hope you guys liked it if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye